Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. We're here today on a beautiful Brooklyn day on the rooftop of our studios. And you know, Brooklyn is a really creative area in New York. A lot of people are moving down from all over the world to Brooklyn because it, you know, there's a lot happening over here. Tons of DJs, musicians, a lot of Pro Tools users. And a lot of those Pro Tools users, from beginners to professionals, they always ask me, you know, how to archive my session. Because a big session gets really confusing and try to bounce it around between people, you know, it just doesn't work so great. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is archive that session, shrink it down, really simple. So, you know, you could send it out to a guy in France and you know, you got your track down really good, man. So let's check it out. As you can see here, I have a lot of little edits and a lot of, audio and all that stuff going on so what you want to do first is select all the regions you want to highlight all those regions that you want to keep and all that stuff all right and i'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to get it perfect all right so then what you want to do is you want to consolidate all these regions to one file, you know, one file on each track. So what you want to do is shift option three and it's going through the consolidating. So now you don't have to worry about, you know, if any of your regions get moved around or anything like that, because they all start and end at the same places. All right, so next thing you want to do is open up the regions window over here on the right. And as you can see, there's a lot because I was messing around with sampling and chopping up little pieces of, you know, different audio. So what you want to do is go in this regions window over here and do shift command U to select the unused regions. And then you want to do shift command B to remove them. Now you can delete them permanent, permanently or you can just remove them from this session. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to remove them. All right. So now my session is down to the minimum information, just the most important needed information. So there's very little in here as opposed to that original uh, Pro Tools session. So then what you could do here is just go to File save copy in and then you know choose all audio and you know choose the plugin folder you know to save the session plugin folder the root plugin settings you know all that stuff that's important to to this session you want to check all that stuff to save it and also one thing before we do this is if you have anything with midi as i have the drums midi what you might want to do is bounce the to an audio file you know this way if you know you upgrade pro tools or you're moving them around to you know other people's systems and they don't have those plugins they'll have the audio so at least they can mix the audio you know so you want to bounce the kick separate the snare separate hi-hats and all that stuff as separate audio files and go through the same procedure you know like i said because you know, if other people don't have the plugins that you do or you upgrade to Pro Tools and those plugins don't work anymore, you know, at least you have the audio. So do the same if you have any, you know, uh, effects going on as well. You know, like if you have an aux with some reverb, you might want to bounce the wet part of that, you know, the wet reverb as an audio. So you have that all together. And then again, go back to file, save, copy in choose all the important things to this session and then just hit OK and you know name it whatever it is that you want copy of session and then hit save and then it's going through it you know give it a second here all right and then here it is on the desktop and you know, it's only got all the audio files that I need for this session. So it's really great for, you know, shrinking down your session and, you know, archiving it, you know, so you don't have to take up a lot of space on your hard drive. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.